Hey everybody, this is DreamTube, and today we're going to learn how to create a, an explosive background for an image, uh, pretty much anything you want. Why am I doing this? Well, everyone knows explosions are cool, so let's do it. Uh, I just picked a, a random object like a, like a cell phone. You can do whatever you want. The beauty with this tutorial is that not only will I create it right in front of you, but I will provide the files, uh, the sources to this project, and I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and uh, you can see how it's done in, in the layers and, and so forth. So, but it's probably a good idea to just check it out step by step and see how it's done. So what I did was, you know, I, I pulled a, a graphic and then I created a new image and I made it at 900 by 500. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient background. So I'm going to click on the gradient tool and I'm going to use uh, not quite all black, but maybe maybe like a dark gray. Then I'm going to create a line. like so that works then I'm going to grab this image of the phone and I'm going to double click on the background layer I'm going to grab the magic wand I'm going to select the white um, let's see here I'm going to change my tolerance to maybe uh, 75 magic wand and delete then I'm just going to drag the uh, phone onto the stage as you can see it needs a little bit of work on the edges I'm going to scale this down though drop it right around there and I'm going to start erasing the um, around the phone now bring this here so you see what I'm doing uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change opacity to 100 so okay grab this kinda zoom in with the uh, now I'm not gonna be super perfect with this that's not the point to this tutorial. Um, but uh, the idea is to get kind of a, a general um, grasp on the whole thing. So I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit here. Okay. That's 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 good enough. Okay. So I'm going to go to um, to view and actual pixels. And um, here I'm telling you that I'm done cleaning, but it's so hard to just leave things when I know it, uh, some things need to be done. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a reflection to this phone now. So I'm going to layer, duplicate layer. I'm going to drop this underneath. Move tool. I'm going to flip this vertically. Okay, I'm just going to drop and put it right, right underneath the original phone. I'm going to drop the opacity down on this. Then I'm going to get the eraser tool. I'm going to use something that's feathered. Make the size. Uh, now, keep in mind that I mean, I mean I'm using a phone, but you can use any object you want. Okay, and then I'm going to change, drop the opacity down to maybe the 30s. I'm going to start erasing. And I'm taking gentle strokes right in there, make it kind of disappear. 
maybe bring the layer up just a tad so it feels or it seems like it's just right there and then maybe bump the opacity a lot of this is just playing around okay Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add kind of a uh, kind of a glass table, kind of a makeshift gla glass table, make it seem like it's sitting on something. So I'm going to create another layer. Sorry, I'm not naming the layers, but uh, but uh, okay, fine. Glass table. Okay, then I'm going to take the uh, rectangle marquee tool, and I'm going to create a um, selection. Um, like this, like right above uh, the phone, and with the white being the foreground, I'm going to do Alt Delete. It's going to fill in the bottom part. And then I'm going to drop the opacity down um, to to maybe here. Okay, then I'm going to use the eraser tool and kind of um, give it a little depth. And you can play around with the opacity. Um, maybe jump the opacity up. So now it now it really seems like it's you know it's sitting on some type of a, a glass table. Now to add all the the cool effects, I'm going to go ahead and open up. Now remember, I'm going to have all these materials um, in a in a zip file, so you'll be pretty much good to go. Here's the fire that is included in the zip. Basically, I'm just going to drag it. Now that's pretty big, so I'm going to I'm going to scale it down. To something where it actually fits the um, uh, fits the the graphic itself. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to make it a little bit wider. But you don't want to do it too much cuz you don't want you're going to start seeing pixelation. Um So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it in with the original graphic. So I'm just going to go with uh I'm sorry. Um I'm going to go with screen. And already you're getting some kind of cool little uh, dramatic effect going on. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to actually put it down here so you get some of the the fire down here in the glass so but I don't want this part so I'm going to go ahead and start deleting some of this but I'm going to leave a little bit of that orange glow underneath. Okay next next thing I want to do is bring in uh, some of the um, some smoke um, again, this is included in the uh, this is this is included in the uh, zip file. So I'm going to tr uh, rotate this around, drop it right around here, and then I'm going to play with um, this the sizing of it. It just, it just doesn't look right the way it is. Okay, I'm also going to. Okay, now I'm going to use the eraser tool. Oops, and just bring back, uh, tone down the uh, the strength of of this smoke. I mean, you want things to blend in nicely, so that's good. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in um, some particles and make it seem there's a, something going on, like an, ex an actual explosion um, underneath. Uh, that's that's kind of big time, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, scale this down to um, to kind of match the the graphic around. So there we go. So now we see there's uh, some pretty cool effects going on there. Um, 
All right, the next thing we're going to do is I'm not really happy with the symmetry of this explosion. So I'm going to add a little more explosion here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate um, this layer. And then I'm going to rotate it. <clears throat> to something like this. Um, it's not perfect, but um, I wanted a little bit more of the explosion over here. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, I'm going to take the eraser tool and kind of erase this portion right in here, uh, just just to complete the symmetry. So now we got a little bit of explosion here. Now what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of ambient light uh, because this is just too too harsh. It's too this is too black and this is so I'm going to you'll see what I mean. I'm going to add a little bit of the ambient light and bring it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. And I want to make sure that this layer is on the bottom. So this is below all the other explosions. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that this is a little bit higher than everything else. OK. And then I'm going to actually no no I'm just gonna go with my original thought I'm gonna go with a, a blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna create I'm gonna um, I'm going to leave it at yeah 75 percent or 75.8 pixels so as you can see when I do that I'm adding kind of an ambient light to the explosion kind of brings it brings everything together you could play with the uh, the colors make it kind of a, a lighter or even a more more of a, a red but um, I think that works out pretty good and uh, that's pretty much it you can do small things such as um, you can take the for example go to the if the glass layer is too distractive uh, to distracting you can actually drop the opacity down and this will um, this will make the explosion pop up a little more or you can move the uh, the glass table down to make it seem it's like it's you know it's sitting lower um, you can add cool little tags taglines to this like what I do is um, I take the color picker, so I, I choose the foreground, and then I just um, take the color picker and I pick a uh, kind of a uh, kind of a dark or one of the colors from the uh, the flames. Um, okay, that's fine, and then just make something clever. For me, this isn't clever, but uh, there you go. Now you have a an ad ready to go. So. There's your tutorial on how to create an explosive background. Now, obviously, you can use this for anything. It doesn't have to be a phone. It, it could be virtually anything you want. The trick is to actually delete uh, the background um, by using the, uh, the eraser. And then you can follow this tutorial on how to uh, create the, uh, the, uh, the explosion in the back. And I will, I will include all the uh, materials for you to do that. So thank you very much. Um, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, as I'll be adding uh, more tutorials. And um, thanks a lot for watching.